Hi guys, you're watching GT channel. This is Miss of Pandaria Beta and in this episode I'm gonna be overviewing all the talents that Rogue has. Level 15 talents. So the first talent is Night Stalker. Increase your movement speed while stilted by 20% and your damage deal while stilted by 25%. With this talent you become more faster when you are in stilt. Your movement speed is increased by 20% and your damage is increased too. So right now the first hit that I do is increased. The damage of that hit is increased by 25%. And I walk very fast in stilt right now with this talent. Subterfuge. Your stilt breaks 3 seconds after dealing or receiving hostile actions rather than doing so immediately. This is one of the awesome talents that you can get because it lets you to cast about 3 spells while being totally invisible. That's just crazy. So I prefer to use Chip Shot, then Ambush and then finally Garrot. These 3 abilities in this order while I am attacking some kind of target. Shadow Focus. Abilities no longer cost energy while you are stilted. This is another good talent that you can spend because right now you can spam your sap ability or your other abilities that you can use in stilt and your you don't have to worry about your energy because it just doesn't move while you are being stilted of course and now we have level 30 talents so the first one is deadly throw finishing move that reduces the movement speed of the target by 50% for 6 seconds if performed with 5 combo points, also interrupts spellcasting and prevents any spell in that school from being cast for 6 seconds. Quite a good ability to have when some target is running away because you can slow it down and catch it up and it's uh, very awesome against some casters. If you have 5 combo points on the caster you can interrupt the spellcasting. Nerve Strike a successful kidney shot or chip shot also reduces the damage dealt by the target by 50% for 6 seconds after the effect fades. So with every chip shot ability and kidney shot after the stun ends, the target gets a debuff and the damage is reduced by 50% for 6 seconds. Now I'm gonna use my kidney shot, kidney shooting few seconds stun, stun ends and the target gets a debuff. Combat readiness. Enter into a state of heightened awareness deflecting enemy weapon strikes with increasing effectiveness. Successive attacks will deal 10% less damage per application stacking 5 times. Lasts for 20 seconds but if 10 seconds elapse without any incoming weapon strikes this state will end. This is quite a similar ability to the Nerve Strike talent because it does the same thing as the Nerve Strike, it reduces the damage. But it's a quite little different because you have to stack up to 5 times and then you get a damage reduction by 50%. Level 45 talents, Cheat Dead. An attack that will otherwise be fatal will instead reduce you no lower than 10% of your maximum health and damage taken will be reduced by 80% for 3 seconds. This effect cannot occur more than once per 90 seconds. Well this talent totally lives up to its name, you are cheating the dead. You're supposed to die right now but I get this like immortality for 3 seconds and I reduce all damage for 80%. So when you are near the dead you can survive and use like other abilities like vanish and like run away. Leeching poison. Coat your weapon with a non-lethal poison that lasts for 1 hour. Your melee attacks have a 50% chance to poison the target and all your subsequent weapon strikes against the poisoned target will heal you for 10% of a damage dealt. Shiv effect instantly restores 5% of the rogue's healed. This is another powerful talent to have because all the damage you deal is getting transformed into your HP. So on top of your recuperation ability you can have another one similar healing ability. 
that gives you HP back when you do damage and the more damage you do the more you will get HP back Elusiveness your faint ability also reduces all damage taken by 30% for 5 seconds Right now I can spam my faint ability and reduce the damage dealt by that mob by 50% for 5 seconds Next are level 60 talents. The first one is preparation. When activated, this ability immediately finishes the cooldown on your sprint, one ish, clock of shadows, evasion, and dismantle abilities. So right now most of my abilities are on cooldowns. Press the preparation and I get a restored cooldown. So now I can go one ish, sprint and run away. Shadow step. Step through the shadows and appear behind a target. Movement speed is increased by 70% for 2 seconds afterwards. One of the awesomest abilities that lets you jump behind your target from a distance to always stay on your enemy behind. Burst of speed increases movement speed by 70% for 4 seconds. If you are afflicted by any movement impairing effects, Activating this ability will instead remove any such effects and grant immunity to the replication for 4 seconds. So this ability is quite similar to sprint but it uses the energy, 60 energy to cast it and it doesn't have any cooldown so you can spam it if you have energy. And when you are afflicted by some kind of slowing effects when you use it you cancel all those effects with this burst of speed. And now we have level 75 talents. Deadly Brew. Whenever you apply one of your non-lethal poisons to a target, you also apply Crippling Poison. So now I have Leeching Poison. It's a non-lethal poison. So when I apply it, I automatically apply the Crippling Poison to the target. Quite a useful talent, as you can see. Paralytic Poison. Cut your weapon with a non-lethal poison that lasts for 1 hour. Each strike has a 20% chance of poisoning the enemy for 15 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times on a single target and upon a 5th application the enemy will be stunned for 4 seconds. Shift effect causes instant paralysis of an enemy's lower body, rooting them in all place for 4 seconds. So right now I'm trying to get 5 stacks of this poison, it's quite hard to do but I managed to do it and the target got stunned for 4 seconds in place. The only drawback of this poison is that it's only 20% chance that you get 5 stacks. It's quite hard to get them. So right now you use it my shift and the target got rooted in place with this paralytic poison. Dirty Tricks. Your Gouch and Blind no longer have an energy cost and no longer break from damage dealt by your poison and bleed effects. Right now gonna put some dots on my enemy, putting Garrot and Rupture. So now gouging and my Gouch doesn't break from all the dots that I just put on the target. That's how this talent works, the Dirty Tricks. And all my gouge and blind ability doesn't require any energy right now. So finally, level 90 talents. I cannot show you how they work because I am still level 85, but I just gonna read out the names of these talents. So the first one is Shuriken Toss, a ranged attack that deals 5361 physical damage to an enemy target, awards one combo point. And this talent replaces your original throw ability. Versatility, your redirect ability now has no cooldown. So this talent totally removes the cooldown from the redirect ability. So the final level 90 talent is anticipation. One of your attacks generates a combo point on a target that already has 5 combo points. You gain an anticipation charge up to a maximum of 5. When you perform an offensive finishing move on an enemy, any anticipation charges are consumed to grant you an equal number of combo points on the target. So this was my overview of rogue talents, I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, bye.